boy. We got a good one today, guys. You know, sometimes you wonder, like, did I raise my kids right? Did I do the right things? And then they buy a truck like this, and you're like, all right, okay. And then they do stuff like this, and you're like, yeah. Definitely did something right as a father. Whew. Nice. We got that one's cracked on this side. Go over here to the other side. We got a crack here. We got a crack here. It's all cracked out. No, oh, but really, I think what this is from, he hasn't wheeled it that hard. The previous owner, and if you're seeing this, you know who you are. It's a family member. They put these super stiff springs on this when they did this lift. <clears throat> They're like 800 pound springs or something, and they are a bear to get in and out of here <clears throat> because of how stiff the springs are. And we actually put these shocks in this spring here with a spring compressor from Harbor Freight. And you want to talk about sketch super scary so but i think this the the immense amount of pressure has broken this steel so we're gonna see if we can uh get this strut out of here bend this puppy back down beat it down on the hammer or something put some welds on it and maybe put a, a strap of steel on here to reinforce this thing because cutting this whole thing off i think you can buy replacements but cutting the whole thing off and re-welding the new one on there you know, maybe it's the right thing to do, but I don't always do the right thing. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get the strut out of here first. If y'all don't know, you take these top strut hat bolts off and you pull that one out right down there. And uh, then you fight to get this thing out. I don't think, I don't I think that's all you gotta do with these. I don't think you gotta take anything else off. So they'll just come right out the front here, so. Was good. All right, so these three top bolts on the top of the strut is of the 14 millimeter flavor. And the back one is a bit of a struggle because of the fender well there. So you just have to get your patience tested with that one. So once you got these three off, take the strut out. It's bottom bowl. I'm not sure what size this is yet. We'll find out in a minute. So the front is a 22 millimeter. The back is, I'm not sure it, but it does fit a crescent wrench and that's what I have. So we're gonna zip this bottom bolt off. There goes the nut. So after we repositioned the bolt, or repositioned our jack, I was able to get the bolt out. Now this strut should come out of here. Might need a little persuasion. We'll see. Something rolled off too. I don't know what that was. Oh, my socket. <clears throat> you ever need to take your struts out of a third gen forerunner? This is what you need to do. They are super simple. Bada bang, bada boom. Now, let's see if we can get that thing through. Now we can get a better idea of what we're working with too. Shoo. Mm-hmm. Do 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 do. Yeah. All right, well, I don't know how this is gonna go. Let's see if we can beat this down a little bit. Without smashing my fingers. Yeah. This is gonna, this is gonna be a trick. Hmm. Something's supposed to happen. 
<laughs> Listen, okay? My magic Thor hammer is broken. Maybe if we ratchet it down or something, that might work. I might get a strap on here to yank it down. We're gonna have to clean this thing up too. So, a little ratchet strap, do wazzle, hook it right there to that diff support. She's closed up. So, let me see if I can clean it up, put some welds on it. See if you can break it this time. Good luck, dude. So, it looks like we're gonna have to take this control arm off because Really, to get at this crack here fully, I mean, this in the way, really just not gonna do, be able to get a proper job on it. But looking at it closer, there is a little split right here too. It's gonna start on the other side. So we're gonna take this control arm off. If you guys have never taken these off, there's a nut here and this bolt goes all the way through here and this is the head of it. So you'll have to push this bolt back up in here, behind here, and I think the battery box might be up there. I haven't popped the hood yet. But it's a little more involved. But either way, once this is out of the way, we'll have more room. Get her done right. The nut's off. So let's see if we can drive this bolt out of here. Oh. <laughs> oh, looky there. All right, let's go ahead and go in from the top and pull that puppy out. It's down there somewhere. Get right in here. Oh yeah. Okay, so now that the control arm's out of the way, I might take this uh, sensor bracket off too so I can get a little more play out of this, but we got a little more room to the crack. So hoping we can clean it up and do something about it. So I'm gonna try to get my grinder in here and clean it up, see what happens. Ideally guys, when you have a crack like this, you know, when it spreads like that, you should put, you should drill a hole at the end of the crack um there's some science gizmo stuff behind that but the point is is the crack won't spread any farther when you do that but uh i might be able to put a hole in it i might be able to get my drill back in here it's on the top it it went down the side and up onto the top there so i might be able to get a drill bit in there but I might just have to weld it and hope it doesn't spread any farther. It shouldn't if the pressure's not on there anymore, but ideally, that's what you wanna do. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put a weld there on the inside it's hard to see, but, and then put a piece of strap there on the outside. And I got my strap right here. So we're gonna strap this on, weld her up, see if we can break it. Might have had a little burn through on that one. It's thinner material than I thought, or I ground a little thinner than I thought, but, uh, Good thing I was a trailer factory welder. We could fill them gaps. Like, you got enough wire? We'll make it work. Like, it might be a half a spool of wire right there, but now this 
It's a, it's a little, a little ugly, but. But uh, she's full. All right, we're gonna put the strap on the other side. I'm gonna cut a little piece of metal. Uh, probably tack one side, bend her around a little bit, weld her up. Well, that was challenging to get the welder in there, and it was not clean, so it's ugly. But I mean, if I would look at this thing, I would just say, whoo, yep, that's factory. Mm-hmm, no, but it ain't pretty, but I think she'll hold. It's gotta be stronger than it was, right? Right? Tell me it's gonna be stronger than it was. All right, anyway, we're gonna roll with this on this side. Put this A-arm back in, put the strut back in, just do everything in reverse. And then uh, probably put some paint on it, call it good. And we'll do the other side, all right? Well, I didn't film the other side, but we did throw some paint on there and got her back together. Hey, it's holding. I think it's gonna be fine for what it is. If, uh, we were getting to a predicament where we need more i'll probably just cut these things off and put different ones on uh, and reinforce the ones really to do this right we need to get the uh the fender well out of the thing and to uh get better angles on it all but it came out all right it's stronger this is the other side too it got welded here and here so i ground these down and welded both sides of here and then threw some paint on it put it back together i think it's gonna be good good enough all right well i welded and she held it what time will tell if it holds up under the tests that my boy will put it to we shall see anyway we got it all back together it's welded up if this happens again, we'll probably have to take this strut tower off, get a new one, replace it with something stronger or something. But it's painted, it's together, and it's holding. I'll show you the other side real quick. Uh, it's a little dark in here, but this one had a crack here and over here. Both sides got welded. Again, just did the same thing as the other side, but you know we'll see we'll see if she holds up but hey hey that concludes the video for this time guys so stick around who knows what else we'll break and have to fix all right man catch you later